You honestly have no idea how many people have been hitting me up asking me to cover E3 leaks. Wait a minute, let me make sure my mic is on. Yeah, it's on. But yeah, there's a ton of people that have been asking me to cover E3 leaks in one way or another, and these have been popping up on 4chan and whatnot, and I feel like ever since a while back when somebody posted a picture of just a random Nintendo Direct lineup on a picture, suddenly out of nowhere these things became popular and become so popular that there's actually now a website which can generate them for you. So now, no longer do you have to report to me about random leaks on E3, Nintendo Directs, and anything else that's a digital event that's coming up. Rather, you can make your own. So the Game Onion right here, big shout out to him, man. He's been a really big supporter of the channel, but seeing this guy since forever, man. Thank you for sticking around with me, dude. Um, Game Onion sent me this link, which shows you an amazing website, which generally, um, um, excuse me, which randomly generates fake E3 leaks. And it is glorious. So um, if we actually go to the website, you'll see that it makes right there for you a Nintendo Digital Event E3 leaked list thing, you know? And I mean, everyone should understand the significance of how important this is. So as you can see right now, it has Mario Brothers 3D and, um, you know, it has all these titles here. And then you can just refresh the page and it changes it to another list. So this is literally a list generator randomizer. So now all of you guys that want to report to me about these fake leaks, you can do so in a really stylish fashion and never have your list look the same as someone else's. Else's, which definitely makes yours legit because yours is different. For example, Legend of Zelda Century of Alarm HD presented by Bill Trennan in a video slash demo. This is great and at E3 you can't get any better than this man. There'll definitely be a lot of leaked lists out there and of course as you can see you have your standard do not distribute um, and kind of like superimpose on the page. With a big ass Nintendo logo definitely on the top you need that to fix you, you, you need that to fix up a leak list to make it look legit. That's an absolute must. And you have to have some kind of message that makes it seem like it is um, insider information, confidential information that shouldn't be passed around. Although it has a big ass Nintendo logo on the top. And of course, everything that the E3 presentation has would be on a sheet of paper, right? So, I mean, this makes a lot of sense. Nintendo Dogs U, Nintendo Dogs U. Look, that's a great title coming up soon. But you know what? I don't know if I'm into these titles right now. I mean, Metroid Bell. I don't know, I mean, this is gonna be actually in the NX, and the NX is actually gonna be shown at E3, which is surprising because we didn't think it would. But, you know, this list, as much as I like it, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is the legit list. Let's refresh it one more time and make sure we have a legit list. And now, now, see, this one I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. This is definitely legit. Nintendo Mario 3DS Life, you can't beat that. Metroid Chicken Mission, this is an absolute godsend for anybody who wants to go around and believe those leaks on a list, this is perfect. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Will you be using this to find somewhat of a legit list to believe in for E3 or pass it around on 4chan to give it that effect as if it is real or not? Let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Once again, Game Onion, thank you for showing me this. An amazing innovation which really shows how technology is at the forefront of humanity because good God, we can't get any better than this. I'll take, <laughs> take care of yourself. I'm not going to take care of you. You take care of yourself. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.